something you can't fix. If you can't fix what's broken, you'll, uh, you'll go instead. It's Jay and Adam. It's previewed. It's previewed. Fix it with Adam and Jay. Hey, Peaches! Welcome to Fix It, where friends don't let friends fix pop culture alone. I'm Adam. And I'm Jay. And you're our Vlistner. Hey there, Vlistners! Ho there, Vlistners! Happy Tuesday, Vlistners! Yes, indeed. All you out there in Vlisteria, here's your (laughs) government-sponsored content. (laughs) As dictated, released yes. on a Tuesday. Every Tuesday, everyone in Blisteria gathers around the the megaphone. The megaphone. Yes, and the town jester re- uh, recites, recites from memory. This. Yep. Oh, from memory. Yes. We don't let them. We don't write them down. No. Oh my God. Never. Wow. Yes. We go through a lot of town jesters, don't we, Jay? Yeah, because they have to do it straight from the dome. <laughs> Welcome to our podcast, Fix It. I'm Jay, that's Adam. You may know us from the runaway bus of a YouTube reaction channel previewed over there on YouTube. Uh, you may also know us from, you know, ri- also riding the bus. Sometimes we do that. Sometimes we ride public transportation. Sometimes when I'm feeling lazy and I'm going out to Adam's house, I just hop on an M5 and there we are. There we are. Bing, bang, boom. I could just walk it, but... You could. But yeah. public transportation is there for a reason, Jay. Yes, indeed. Helping the community until... It doesn't. Until it hides bombs. Uh, This is our show, Fix It, where every week Adam and I take a piece of pop culture that maybe missed the mark, maybe didn't quite get there, maybe dipped just below 50 miles per hour, and we fix it. And today, Adam and I are going to be fixing the 1997 classic... Speed two because because <laughs> this is a big be- because big because, because I feel like a lot of people looked at their podcatcher apps yes. and or YouTube today and were like, like why what? why would you put huh you guys themed these things you go for synergy <laughs> you're right we do but there were really no Keanu Reeves films out there that you know really needed to fix as much as the movie he wasn't in. <laughs> Speed 2, because John Wick 4 is coming out in a couple days. It is. And we can't wait to watch that, but we figured, hey, you know what movie he should have been in? He really should have been in this movie. This script was written for him to come in. Someone just went Command F, find the word Jack, replace it with Alex. Yeah. Because this movie was written with Jack in mind. Yes. So we're fixing Speed 2 because of John Wick. Speed 2. Cruise control. Get it? Because they're, the, they're on a cruise. Day. I'm going to be totally honest with you. This Get is one it. of those movies that I feel like they got, they they figured out the title first. Yes, they absolutely did. You know what yes, I'm saying? Did. And then they, and then they uh, a- added everything else on the side. Yep. Uh, in a way that I... Because cars have a, a cruise control. Yes. And they're on a cruise. Yeah. Oh my God. The, the, the script writes itself, it right, writes guys? It itself, man. My God. It writes itself, baby. Easy peasy. Lemon well, squeezy. Here we go. A quarter of a mil- billion dollars. Easy. Everyone loves speed. Here we go. <laughs> it's on a boat. Do we know why Keanu didn't do this movie? I, you know what? We don't know. I'm sure Brian does. Yeah. And when we get to that, that fun bean fact stuff, he will tell us. But I'm sure there. I think there was a very good reason why he wasn't in this movie. I think like another project, but like because Speed One was kind of a cultural like phenomenon of the ni- movies from the '90s, and there was like a lot of really good action films from the '90s that we really have not replicated since because no. actions changed. It's just yeah, but Speed is up there with like Face Off, with Con Air, with The Rock, like some of those really good '90s action. Fi- the Speed is in the top five because yeah. it was such. An interesting, clever idea. Yeah. And it was also like, here's the thing. Speed 2, on paper, or as an elevator pitch, Mm -hmm. not terrible. Sure, another you know what I another mean? speed based and you and it's like you can just be like oh like it's like speed but they're on a cruise ship and like it eventually like crashes into St Albans or was it St Albans? One of those places. I don't remember what the port was. Um, but like, and it's like that. I mean, that as a stunt and as like a big thing was like is like kind of cool on paper. Oh, it's and also that crash at the end of the movie 
is very well done. Yeah, that, a lot except of for a lot of people that were just like eating lunch, and it was like, can you not? I w- I would imagine a boat of that magnitude crashing into a port city you think? would make a staggering amount of noise to the point where it would at least make me like or pause yeah. from my shrimp scampi. Do you know what I mean? Be like, is, are we are we are we in danger? Like, <laughs> there's a lot of screaming from the port. But it was a lot of people just like, oh, it's lunchtime. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, okay. Well, that's how we reacted to things in the 90s, Jay. Yeah, I suppose. You were you were still a wee lad. You didn't know that that's how we... We all got together in the 90s and realized, hey, if there's like a disaster or something happens, wait till the last possible second to realize it's going on, exclaim, and then run out of the way. Yeah. I. The, and the funny thing about this movie, you would, and it's the one thing that Speed 1 really really succeeds in uh the where this movie does not this movie was kind of boring yeah you know oh yes speed one was like there was not a dull moment speed one goes they it goes they, goes goes they figured out all the possible ways of making this situation incrementally worse Mm-hmm. And all the thing, all the obstacles they would need to get over to keep the bus going fifty miles an hour. Yeah, they did a very good job. I was like, okay, we handled this. Oh no, the brakes. Okay, we handled this. Oh no, there's a gap in the road. We got to jump this thing, which is it was physically impossible. But who cares? It was who an cares? awesome moment. It was awesome. Like, oh, we got to get to the airport. Oh, we got to loop the footage. Like, and then and then after after the, after they save everyone on the bus, then we got to go ahead take on Anthony Hopkins on the subway. Like, yeah. it was there was it just wait, it wasn't lo- Anthony Hopkins. Yeah, it was. No. Anthony Hopkins? Was the bad guy. No, it's the other guy. Um, it's it's definitely not Anthony Hopkins. It's definitely Dennis Hopper. Someone who's as good as Anthony Hopkins. To be fair, I, I would say I would say you uh, Dennis Hopper is like an Anthony is like a more approachable Anthony Hopkins. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dennis Hopper. Yeah, Dennis Hopper. Yeah. You gotta go fight him on the train mm-hmm. and decapitate that fool. That was <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. I, i'm gonna be honest i was like hey uh okay we're working on a speed two rewrite maybe we bring dennis hopper back and i was like wait what happened to dennis hopper again and then i like went back through the thing and i was like oh he got his head uh, chopped off by a uh, yeah, clean we, yeah there's no off. there's no there's no bringing back dennis <laughs> he like really gets murdered <laughs> I mean, he deserved it, but sure. Also, he just stood up to at the wrong time. Yeah, no. it's you know, Go. it's it's the it's the quietly rocketing uh, 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 train signal that you just don't he, see coming. He, he really he, he really did it until the last possible second. But Keanu did. That's why he ducked. <laughs> but before we hop into speed two thoroughly, uh, Adam, how are you doing? Jay, I'm doing great because we finished Last of Us this week. Sure did. It was a really good finale. We're getting our Mondays back. Mondays back. Mondays back, baby. That's what I'm most excited for. And I know what people are thinking. You just got to watch a show. How is that hard? It's more complicated than that. It takes all day and I work real hard. (laughs) And my brain gets tied up soft on that puzzle. And I gotta get all the announcements out, and then I gotta edit this show. <laughs> You're watching it right now. <laughs> I edit on a Monday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're getting Mondays back, not having to shoot something and then edit something all... No, at the end of the morning and most of the afternoon, yeah. freeing up those six to eight hours yes. to think about the giant amorphous blob that is previewed productions now and like figuring things out doing some other editing for other small projects and just like getting things in place for the future that's rapidly approaching both of us at an extremely fast rate speeding towards us if you will yeah man uh there's a lot to do and now we can actually like sit and plan and figure it out yes because we need a plan for the next few months yeah we really do so we get to do that now and it also helps us, hey, we get to game. We get to game now. Resident yeah. Evil comes out next week. Oh, is that next week? It's next week, next Friday. Oh, Shiza. So we can we can start streaming that. Oh, that's gonna be fun. And then we can figure and then we and there is time to play uh, uh Dead Space. So yeah. that'll be fun. And I get to stream. Do you want to stream on Monday night? Yeah. 
think well, I mean, you, you guys have already probably seen me stream. Probably the, the hopefully the back half of that uh, of the uh, Escape Academy DLC. Oh, that's what you want to finish? Yeah, we haven't finished it. We oh, I thought have... you wanted to play uh, Dead Space. Oh yeah, I will. But oh, I, okay. I got to finish the first one. All right, that's I got to finish that. Whatever you want to do, Escape man. Academy. It's your stream. But like, there's we can do other things, and we really like making stuff. And as much we love making reaction stuff, but we I think we've gotten to a point where when there is not reaction stuff to do. We have we're, other stuff to work on. Yeah, we're comfortable. Like you know what? We there's nothing to work on right now, so we're gonna work on these other things yeah. for everybody. And we don't feel necess- We don't feel like oh, we gotta find something to react to. We don't. No. We have other. We have other fun things to do. And that's one thing I've always appreciated about our outlook on this is this, that like, because I mean, there's kind of like we're we're a part of like some you know uh, reactor Discord communities and people are talking about like, you know, like views are kind of down a little bit and things like that and like what like what the, industry wide, yeah, In- industry, which is it, that it, it happens and that you know sure. there's highs and lows to this mm-hmm. kind of thing, and a part of me is like I'm glad that like. We have we have decided to like diversify what we make, mm-hmm. so we don't necessarily like have to panic when the one thing is like kind of dipping. It's mm-hmm. like oh, all right, then we'll just lean on some other stuff, and that's yeah. like completely fine. Um, yeah, because it's uh, man, oh, man, I just I just I'm like just now realizing I don't Mondays. Like I can just like get up, make myself a cup of coffee, and make all of my announcements for the day, and yeah. like I don't have to like. There's no rush. There's of no any rush. Kind. I can just kind of like ease into that mm-hmm. and like get that all done. And be like, okay, great. Now all the other stuff that would be so nice. Mm-hmm. It's not just me getting back from your house at like one, being like, okay, I have D and D at six thirty. I have so much to do. <laughs> I yes, one of the things ah! I ha- I hate feeling rushed. Yeah. I and really don't like one it of the either. one of the cool, well, I think one of the good things that we've figured out in the past year and a half or so is not rushing ourselves. Yeah, because even um, even with some of the bigger stuff that comes out, like uh, with Mando and uh, Last of Us, and as we move forward, like by the way, like Filoni's episode that he directs is this week is tomorrow for Mando. Oh, okay. so like this week's episode might be huge really huge. big because last week some people were like, well, this is just a side story with perishing and blah, 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 even though I think it was kind of really important and like. I port- thought it was their world building happened. in an interesting way. Yes. Um, but like Filoni directs this episode, re- wrote and directed this week's episode. And he also wrote and directed episode seven in a couple weeks. So like in all likelihood, this one's going to be kind of important and huge. Possibly, 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 possibly. But it's just fun. We, I don't rush anymore. I was like, you know what? Okay. We finished, we finished filming all the, fo- the footage is in, it, uh, in the computer. I'm going to not render. I'm going to have lunch. I'm going to have a coffee. Relax. Rejuvenate the brain. And then hop in. And because I, ha- I don't need to rush this. Yeah. It's okay to get this out when it is out. And depending on the length of the episode. Because the week before was like 40 minutes. This week was an hour. It's like, you know what? This episode's going to come out when it comes out. And it's okay. We don't have to rush. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. We're having fun making stuff. Don't rush it. And it's been great. <laughs> what? No, nothing. I'm just, I'm just, I, I'm just, ha- I'm just smiling at you. Okay. That's just more of a just like I'm glad you're great. It makes me happy. Are you doing okay? Yeah, fine, great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's Kimberly's birthday. That's why I'm wearing all green. It's ha- happy St. Patty's Day to you and to and to all the well wishes. I hope all your Guinness goes down quite so smooth, or did go some? Did, is, yes. Um, I, uh, hope your, I hope your Friday was fine and had fun. I yeah. hope your Saturday was also okay if you had to recover. I was up late making uh, make oh, uh, yeah. the leprechaun. Oh, yeah, tell them this. The leprechaun visits our house. I've never every heard of this Patty before. Say. Well, I think it's something that it's something Kimberly's family I would always do because I think it's also, they you know, Kimberly's birthday is St. Patty's Day. Okay. So it's become like, I don't think the Coopers really cared about St. Patty's Day until Kimberly was born on St. Patty's Day. Oh. And so, like, it became like a little bit more of a celebrated holiday. Holiday. Sure. Okay. Because like celebrate to me, uh, like celebrating St. Patty's Day mm-hmm. is part of celebrating Kimberly's birthday. Okay. Like I wouldn't normally pay attention to it. Like it was never. I, it was fun wearing green and stuff. You know, like sure. when you were a kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, but like now it's like, but Kimberly also takes it seriously. Like she specifically, the shirt I'm wearing. Uh, she this is a new shirt and she bought it for me the other day. And I was like, oh, green shirt. I can't. I can't wear that on the channel. Why did you get me a green shirt? She was like. Because what's in two days, Jay? 
Yeah, Jay. What's well, T- in two days? And, and and you got rid of all your green shirts. Pop because- quiz, hot shot. <laughs> Oh, that's from Speed. Yes. Okay. <laughs> there were no quizzes in Speed Two. We'll get to that in a second. There was nothing in Speed Two. Uh, so, uh, but every the, the the leprechaun comes to the house and he like moves all the furniture and like puts little like bits and bobs and like has green and there's confetti and sure. So there's a lot of confetti in our house and like crepe paper everywhere and uh, he the, just I, makes I a make, mess. I make little footprints, little uh, oh, do little you? leprechaun footprints uh, out of frosting. On the uh, well, I put it on like a uh, on one of the pans, so I didn't get easily the wipeable surfaces. Well, no, it's more that like I don't want it to stain our, the, sure. the stone yes. on, in the kitchen. Um, <laughs> and he dyes the milk green, ah. and I dyed the toilet bowl water green. But then Kimberly's pregnant, so she pees like a million times in the, through the night, and she was like. And she like came back to bed at like four, and I was like, "Oh, did what? Did you see the water? Did you see the leprechaun?" And she's like, "I didn't even turn the lights on. What do you? Nice, good, good thing. job, good job. Oh, I love you very you much. Oh, uh, leprechaun, uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so I was up late doing that, which is fun. Uh, and we're going bowling tonight for her birthday. We're going bowling. We, we bowled. We bowl, baby. We. I think we played. We did. We did okay." As for as you know, oh yeah, as bowling goes, we, yeah, it's I'm I'm jumping back and forth between time right now. I got between you. Tuesday when everyone's listening to this and Friday afternoon. We're not recording as mental, this. I'm not as mentally dexterous as you are right now. So we jump all over the timeline, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, we do have time to talk about the timeline. Yeah, that's how I roll. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, life's good. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Happy birthday, Kimberly. Happy birthday, Kimberly. Happy birthday, Hello, Kimberly. Very much. I think um, you're all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so speed two. Speed two. Speed two. Um. So I watched Speed Two uh, with uh, the Discord, mm-hmm. as I always do every week. Um, where was where, where was this streaming? Was it streaming someplace? Oh, this was streaming nowhere. Ah, else. I had this a was feeling. streaming nowhere. Um, this. <laughs> I kind of understand that. This mo- Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, even when when Sandra Bullock is on record as saying this movie is a steaming pile of shit. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> yeah. she, when did she said that? Yes, I do it. When I was doing my research, it was like literally like like uh, it's they uh, yeah. It, she said it was this movie is a steaming or a steaming pile of crap. Um, wow. Yeah, she just uh, yeah. She's like that's the one movie I could probably go back and not do. I believe also because she also got almost got murdered. While they were doing the um those what? propeller stunts, when they're like uh, when they're like on the, on the plane, uh, n- uh no when like a lot of like the water stunts that they were doing okay like were very dangerous really and Sandy like almost got kit like almost drowned and she was like yeah nah I hate this movie sucks yeah it's bad oh my god I didn't know that yeah I mean good for them for doing their own stunts but wow yeah water's not not my friend I don't enjoy that one bit. Um, so but you're watching with the Discord. Oh yes, that's right. Uh, this may be the movie that I think I pushed the envelope a little too far with everybody. Sure. Uh, and I feel like uh, like uh, there was a little bit of a, a um, revolt. Yeah, everyone was like, "Hey, hey, we watched Alien vs Predator last week, and now we're watching this one." We don't. I don't want to. Can next week? Can we watch something fun? <laughs> We'll and I was like, I think you guys missed, missed like, f- haven't like, quite figured out like the you know the sentiment of what we're doing here. Mm-hmm. That's fine. <laughs> I don't mind watching bad movies. A lot of people were like, this is, this is extra bad. And I was like, yeah, yeah. So, well, that's interesting because when I watched it next week, I might throw him a bone. But if you haven't joined our Discord, join our Discord, uh, and you can come uh, watch along a movie with me every week. It's really fun. Well, we know what next week's movie is. Yeah, well, I'm I'm gonna posit it to the peaches and see what they want to do. Okay, it's like if everyone wants to watch Warcraft with me, mm-hmm. then that's fine. Next week, because uh, Dungeons and Dragons is coming out, mm-hmm. and we already did the Dungeons and Dragons movie, we are doing we are fixing uh, the Warcraft movie next week. So we'll be, either be watching that or something fun, <laughs> and I'll watch God, Warcraft on my get, own, and people, that's fine. Yes, get, get angry over Warcraft. I watched it. I watched Speed Two at two times speed. Because I gotta watch. Because speed if two you didn't, at your the, computer at, would explode. At speed two, yes, exactly. Yeah. And you know what? If you do this two-hour movie in an hour, it's not too bad because it does fly by. 
And I will say there are some very good water stunts in this movie. Granted, yeah. it almost murdered a couple people, yeah. apparently. Yeah. But there are a couple really neat water stunts in this. There are also a lot of really long conversations between uh, between Sandra Bullock and who, whatever the actor's name who plays Alex. I can't remember his name, and I don't feel like I should have to. Oh, that poor guy. <laughs> yeah, Dennis Hopper. I'll, I'll search back for Dennis Hopper, but this guy, no thanks. I'll search. There's a lot of if will they, won't they get engaged on this trip that is really tough. And the only thing that makes it worse is that the the dialogue between the two of them written while they're having this conversation is terrible. It's Jason Patrick. Oh, sure. He doesn't and he spells it with just a C at the end, mm-hmm. right? C. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Who I mean, and remember that they were only were dating for seven months. When the movie starts, they have been dating for seven months, and he's going to engage, uh, propose to her. And this script was clearly written for Jack. Yeah. Clearly written for Jack, because it makes <clears throat> way more sense. It was like, oh, we've been dating for a couple of years now, and hey, a relationship based off of an extreme uh, circumstance actually seems to be working out. So it would make sense that he would be engaged or you know, proposing now, yeah. but not random new guy, because the first scene of this movie... Is Sandra Bullock trying to get her driver's license uh, and failing, mm-hmm. telling the 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 test the test maker the test t- taker the test guy the guy who's testing her <laughs> the driving instructor no, it, got yeah. it pop wow. qu- pop quiz hot shot <clears throat> <laughs> I failed <clears throat> uh, just telling this guy like hey this is what happened since the first movie yeah Jack's gone Alex here. Say Alex is so different than Jack. No, he's not. He's the same person. He is the same person. Yeah. Oh, maybe we should do the plot drop. Yes. We're, we we sped right through it <laughs> to talk about the movie. Let's pump the brakes real Let's quick. Let's pump the brakes. All if right. you have not seen Speed Two, here is the plot. No, we understand why. We understand why. <laughs> Go back and it's watch streaming Speed One. Nowhere. I paid three bucks to watch it, and I want my money back. Um, Jay, hit us with that plot draw. Okay, so um, Sandra Bullock's character, Annie. Annie, there we go. Um, Annie is uh, now, a- after the events of Speed One, is now dating uh, Alex, who she thought was a bike cop, but is actually a special forces like SWAT guy. Yes. Um, uh, and they uh, are are they are dating, but she finds out that he's been lying to her about being a bike cop, mm-hmm. and so like she's like not sure about him, and he's yeah. like, but to make up for it, he got them tickets on a cruise, and he is planning on a week long cruise. He is planning on. Um, proposing on this cruise. Yes. So they go on this cruise, and oh, oh, oh here comes Willem Dafoe's character. Uh, what was it? Geiger was his name? Yeah, it was Geiger. Was it um, Geiger? Yeah. Um, and he apparently it is, is John the, Geiger. He is the so- he's a software engineer who designed the systems for all the cruise ships, mm-hmm. but apparently working with computers all the time, he has gotten copper poisoning. There was so, yes somehow he got copper poisoning. he got from from all the working with all the electronics you know yep. but as soon as that company figured out that he had copper poisoning that's why he had the leeches to get the copper out of mm-hmm. him um, he figured out they once they figured it out they fired him mm-hmm. unceremoniously and so he's really mad and so he comes on the boat with like all the different tech and explosives and stuff to rig up the boat basically so he can uh, rig up the boat to get everybody else off of it right so he can rob the the diamond vault mm-hmm. on the cruise ship yeah because they have a jewelry store there and he yes, wants they to do. take all the diamonds uh-huh. and get away scot-free mm-hmm. so he can have health care so he can pay for his copper poisoning mm-hmm. to which i was like i work on computers all day do i should i be worried about you should copper probably poisoning? go to the doctor to make oh, sure man is that why my, is that why my mouth tastes like pennies all the time probably <laughs> We need to invest in some leeches. Stat. <laughs> yum, yum. Mm. <laughs> it's not the only thing about this movie that sucks. <laughs> um, and so he basically, he tries to, he enacts his plan. The only problem is some people can't, uh, one of the lifeboats like freaks out. And so he can't evacuate everybody. Um, and so Alex and Annie and Boba Fett, um, who was the first mate of the boat, 
um, stay on the, the boat. Captain. I thought Boba Fett was the captain. It's captain gets, gets hit by hit the, like, the light. Willem yeah. Dafoe kills him. Mm-hmm. Um, Willem Dafoe actually, I think, gives a pretty good performance in this. Oh, Willem Dafoe's having a great time. Yeah, he's great. Um, and so he rigs up the boat so it'll crash into, I'm going to say St. Albans, even though I think that might be wrong. Um, it's going to crash, and but he'll be long gone at that right. point. Um, but the, but Alex and Annie and Boba Fett all uh, get in there and and so they get in the way of stopping Willem Dafoe and they stop his plans and eventually he tries to get away with Annie as a hostage but Alex saves the day and the boat that or the plane that Willem Dafoe gets on ends up crashing into an oil ship and explodes the whole thi- no not just the boat not not just the plane the whole the oil whole boat. tank blows up. They evacuate the boat because the plane crashed on top of it. They were not going to evacuate the boat when a cruise ship was about to crash into it. Rocketing into it. <laughs> into it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the th- yeah, the third act is all the boat crashing into whatever the port city that yeah. is. And it was a really good... That's the long or the short of it. Yeah. It's a really good physical stunt. At least it seemed like a lot of stuff was practical. Not like they rammed a boat into an island, but like they probably did it with miniatures, but like it seemed like they did that practically. With miniatures or something, because it looked like that. It, the way it was listing and sometimes like, like leaning on stuff, like computers weren't that great back in the mid nineties. No. This movie came out in ninety seven. It's like, no, nah, I don't think they could have pulled this off with graphics. No, they could do it now, but like still doing it practically. Like, you know what? I I appreciated the practical effects of this movie. Yeah, even though it was a really bad movie, the boat crash scene, pretty good for what it for for, for what it for was. What you're, yeah, for what you're trying to accomplish, like for, and what you have to work with. Yeah, not half bad. It's pretty good. Yeah. Um, before we get too much further into cramming this movie full of uh, holes, or before we get too much further into this movie, remarking about all the holes in the hull of this movie. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Brian. Bride. Bride. Can you answer that uh, beautiful fun fact footage? You didn't even say it right. Nah, I just keep trying. No, just give, give me one more. Give me one more. Game. Bride. <laughs> Let's do my best Jay impression. Bride. No, I, okay. Hit that's us with your, that beautiful phone path footage. That's your best me impersonation? Actually do my voice. Like, actually do what I actually sound like. Like, do, can you do an actually, impersonation Actually me? do what I sound like. Actually, actually, actually do what I sound like. <laughs> you know, up, is it up here? Is it up here, Jay? Yes. Is it a little higher in the nostril? Yeah. Yeah? A little bit. A little bit? A little bit. A little bit. I think I, I like... I, I like somewhere, kinda, it's in, the, somewhere in the... In the top palate. Top, ma- like top mandible, right? Up here? Up here? Yeah, down, yeah. Up here. Hey, 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 Brian. Brian. Hit us with that beautiful fun fact footage. You're not even saying it right again. What is it, Jay? I'm trying Brian, so hard. Brian, why don't you roll that uh, beautiful bean fun fact footage? You weren't saying bean. I wasn't saying bean? You weren't saying bean. No. Oh. Thank you, gentlemen. Producer Brian here. Today we're trying to fix 1997 Speed 2 Cruise Control. But first, let's talk about Speed from 1994. This movie, directed by Jan de Bon and written by Graham Yost, stars Keanu Reeves, Sandra Bullock, Dennis Hopper, and Jeff Daniels. It cost $37 million to make and made $350.4 million. It has a 94% on Rotten Tomatoes. Now, back to Speed 2 Cruise Control. Speed 2 Cruise Control stars Sandra Bullock, Jason Patrick, and Willem Dafoe. It was directed by Jan de Bont, but it was not written by Graham Yost. This movie cost $160 million to make, and it made $164.5 million. Plus, it has a 4% on Rotten Tomatoes. Let's jump into some Speed 2 fun facts. Now, the original Speed, nobody expected it to blow up the way that it did, and it also didn't really leave room for a sequel, so nobody had multi-picture deals. Now, Jan de Bont decided to jump back on for Speed 2, but both Sandra Bullock and Keanu Reeves turned down the opportunity to come back. Sandra Bullock ended up coming back because she needed financing for Hope Floats. However, Keanu Reeves still said no because A, he didn't like the script, B, he didn't want to commit both physically and mentally to another action movie, and C, he was about to film The Devil's Advocate at the same time. Now, supposedly, Fox really hated that he wasn't coming back, so they set up a propaganda campaign that said that he didn't come back because he was on tour with his band. He did subsequently go on tour with his band, but that was obviously not the reason he didn't sign up to do this movie. And one last thing, in Speed 2, the boat crashes into St. Martin. 
Anyway, back to you, gentlemen. Great job, Brian. Terrible job, Brian. Terrible. A good, terrible yeah, job. Yeah, you were good at being terrible. Yeah, you burnt the beans. Those, those, are, those beans came out. It's better than super- forgetting about them, right, Brian? <laughs> oh. oh. I try so hard. Do you, do you even know what I'm referencing when I've started saying yes, that? Yes, Bush's beautiful. Uh, yeah, beans, roll that beautiful, beautiful bean, bean fun fact footage. No, yeah, yeah, roll that beautiful bean footage. Yeah. This little dog that talks to his owner. Yeah, man. Bush's beans. I know. Okay. Fair enough. Don't you be quoting the old magic to me. I was there when it was written. <laughs> don't you quote Aslan to me. Don't you quote. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you, don't you dare. All right. So speed two. Listen, this is a terrible movie. Yeah. This is a very bad movie. But it's not. It's a terrible speed sequel. Straight up. That's really, I think, the issue. If it was just the like, movie if it was just a good. generic like action film with a little terrorist plot. I think I could forgive it. It's probably, you know, fine. It's fine. But, sure. Because some of the water, some of the stunts were cool. It's just not like, speed. It is not speed. It's just not speed. Because the formula for speed one was so clever and so good. The bus needs to stay above 50 or everyone dies. Yeah. Awesome rules. There are no rules in this movie. They're just on a different vehicle that doesn't have to go fast. It just happens to be going fast. At one point, that boat stops. Yeah. It just stops so everyone can get off, and then the boat speeds up again when they're trying to just stop the boat. The bus in Speed 1 never stopped. They rocketed into a plane and it blew up after everyone got off. Mm -hmm. This boat, the plot was to stop this boat. That's not a speed movie. Yeah. So, like, the things just went fast in this movie. Thing, no, the thing about speed is the thing they has to keep thing, going fast. They were on a thing that they didn't have really control over mm-hmm. to some degree. That's the only way that it's speed. Mm-hmm. It's it's more for me. It's like it wasn't speed in that like the pacing was just completely different. Like it just didn't it, speed like that movie clips and this movie like had some serious downtime in yeah. a way that I was like I don't. I don't know. I just uh... boat movies inherently are a slower film. Yeah, because boats are slow. Because boats are slow, and because the problems that are t- on a boat are basically it takes on water and it's starting to sink. And when people are trying to deal with things like this, like in Titanic, which I saw a lot of parallels between this movie and Titanic. Mm-hmm. Like I think, like it seemed really? like it's well, the no. cinematography. The oh, well, I mean, I'm not. Just, I'm joking. But some, like some of the things are less like, oh, this seems like this was only done a couple years before before they started filming Titanic. So, oh yeah. Okay. So like this seemed like not that this movie directly helped Titanic because James Cameron is an amazing director, but just like it just seemed like oh this movie came out like right before Titanic. Oh this there's some really cool water stunts in this movie. Alex and the deaf girl floating through the the shaft. Yeah, that was rad. That was really cool. Yeah. I had I had personally not seen that in a movie before, so that was a cool stunt. But some of the water stunts like oh that's wait did this help inform Titanic even slightly and like the stuff that they could pull off now. From a stunt perspective, yeah, it's like oh that because some I know they did a lot of water stuff in Titanic because that boat when that boat's going down a lot of stuff happens. Oh yeah, so like oh, it seemed like oh that's pretty neat. Maybe this helped out a little bit. But the things going on in the boat, as I say, things going slowing slowing things down. People swimming underwater, which is naturally slow, trying to hold the breath, trying to get to a MacGuffin that's underwater to open a thing so there's no more water. Like, it's all very slow things. It's not dangling from the underside of a bus as you're going 65 yeah, on, on a, a highway. Sled. Yeah, everything in the first movie was all about speed. Even when they were, at, you know, when the SWAT team was trying to attack the house that they thought that uh, Dennis Hopper was in. That's, oh, yeah. That, that scene was like, hey, go, 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 go. Bomb! Oh, no! Ah, we lost our best guy! Yeah, oh, no! Man. Like it, all, everything. The pace was unrelenting. This movie, the pace in this movie, relented a lot. Yeah, I just don't care about, and I don't care about Sandra Bullock's character getting engaged or not. No, I maybe Especially, would care if it was Keanu Reeves. Yes, if, if it was. But Jack. even still, I was like, I don't give it. Uh, this is speed. Let's go. Let's yeah. Let's go. What's taking so long, Willem? You look. Everyone knows you're evil. They are. They already clocked it. Yeah, they clock it at the beginning of the movie like that guy. Don't talk to me about to, my golf game. Up to somebody. Wait a second. Wait a minute. Every golfer wants to talk about their golf game. My dad's a golfer. Trust me, I know. I am aware. <laughs> Please talk to me about my golf game. I'm good, thanks. Yeah, no, thank you. Bye. Okay, bye. 
Bye. Enjoy the back nine. You know that little ball? I hit it good. Oh, all right. Good job. Good, good. Yep. Good job. Good job. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Bye. You want you want me to tell me? I can tell you about my Pokemon team that helped me beat the most recent. <laughs> that, I, to me, they're not they're not, they're no yeah, different. It's the same thing. I don't know yeah. when I don't know when we culturally decided that we respected golf more than other hobbies. But like when people are like, oh, let's talk about my golf game. I'm like, cool, man. Hey, what uh, can I tell you? What class I'm thinking about picking to start with in Diablo Four? Because I can tell you, might be Druid. Ooh, I'm feeling it. Interesting I choice. Know. I don't know. We'll see. Interesting choice. But. Yeah, man, I, uh, I don't have much else to say about this movie, even though I felt bad. Discord was so mad at me. They were, very, <laughs> they were mad. They were so mad. Uh, they were so mad at how bad this movie was. Uh, and it also just wasn't funny. It wasn't. No. It wasn't funny. No. It, like even when they got like the boat driver guy from the island finally. And, oh, like, in the they last had, ten minutes, he had a couple of good bits, and I was like, "Oh man, where have the jokes have been? This guy's hilarious. Where's he? Like, why can't he have been here the whole time? Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, should we fix this thing? Let's fix it. All right, I'm going first. Jay, go first. Fixing. Fixing. Speed. Two. Um. Okay, so my opening credits open oh, um, okay. with... Oh, wait, we should tell the rules first. Oh, we, yeah, of course. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Pop quiz, hot shots. Pop quiz, hot shots. What's the, what are the rules for our fixes for Speed 2? We have to have... It has to be a Keanu vehicle. Yes. Uh, that's basically it. Oh, okay, great. I'm, I'm Keanu's got to be in. I'm glad we stopped the presses for... We slammed on the brakes. Yeah. To make sure and we all can, exploded. If we did, <laughs> whoops! But at least we know now. We know now that Keanu Reeves has to be in this movie. Yes, this is we are riding Speed Two as a Keanu Reeves vehicle, or making it yeah, in ipso facto, making it a speed movie. Yes, it's got to be a speed film. It's got a full yes. The, the speed. I think that's the some thumbnail of the, for some the video. Of the, <laughs> making Speed Two actually a speed movie. There you go. Like there you go. Um, ding, okay. Ding. So my Speed Two. Open the opening credits mm-hmm. are interspersed with a montage of Keanu Reeves' character Jack and Sandra Bullock's character Annie uh, doing a lot of press interviews. Okay, about everything that went down. Cool. Okay, there's a lot of like hullabaloo. A lot. So of, this like, is shortly after the events of this Speed is One. shortly after the, the, the at least the opening credits are shortly after. Gotcha. And so we're seeing a lot of like interviews with the press and like the we we kind of see the news going nuts about mm-hmm. this a little bit. Um, and then as like we come up, um, we get underscored like w- one year since like it's been one year. One since, year later. One year later. Um, and we get uh, we get Sand- uh, Sandra Bullock, Keanu Reeves are showing up to a film set in L.A. OK, um, th- they're showing up and uh, the the PA is kind of like swoop them under like, oh, my God, you're here. Great. Like, awesome, awesome, awesome. It comes to light that. Um, they, uh, the city of Los Angeles sure. is, they're shooting new promos uh-huh. because they have, uh, ever since the, the incident with the buses, mm-hmm. they have kind of upgraded the busing, the busing system oh, okay. and they, they've kind of used like everything that went down with this as kind of leverage to like revitalize public transportation a little bit. Oh, that's good. To be like, Hey, like this shouldn't ha- like, this shouldn't have to happen. Like we, like. You know, a, a city is only as good as its you know public That's uh, transportation, mm-hmm. which I agree with. Absolutely, fully. yeah. Um, and so they're they're releasing their new bus line of buses out into, and so they want to have some promos. Okay. But they also want to get more. They're like, we want people to feel comfortable to take it's the bus again. Safe to be on the bus. It's safe, yeah. To, yeah. like it's safe to be on public transportation in in L.A. And we feel like if so, they have the two of them there to be in the promo. Sure. To shoot the promo on this new bus. And mm-hmm. so they kind of get the lowdown of like the new bus and some beauty all shots of its of the new bus. features. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. It's like, oh, and it's like, oh, like, you know, if you want to know where the bus is, and this is 97, so like the internet's starting to creep in yes. a little bit. It, it is very nascent. And yes. so it's like, oh, like we have GPS tracking on the bus, so like we can know where the bus is at all times. And like there's like some some networking stuff, and like the bus drivers like can communicate like to other buses sure. and like there's they, they can communicate a little bit better with the other buses so we know where everyone is mm-hmm. at all times. Um they're like, oh this is really cool, great. And so like they're shooting their promo. Um uh and it gets to a point where uh they have them and all of the extras on the bus 
Uh, and then like the bus driver who's like, you know, just another actor is like, and I think, I think the bus driver is even like, Hey, like, haha, another, uh, booked another job. Right. Like he's like very LA, like the bus driver, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like he's the one that's like, Oh, my agent's like really thrilled about this. Like this is going to be good for my yeah. career kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Like yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Um, and, uh, it, so they start shooting the promo and we, we get all like kind of the backstory about like the new buses and everything. And, uh, suddenly, uh, there are like, uh, on the outskirts of the shoot, like video village explodes. Um, we get another explosion, like in like the lights, uh, section. Oh no. Um, and then, um, uh, over the intercom, uh, we, we hear a voice, um, and the voice, uh, just says back on a bus again, are we? interesting um and we see the, the bus because of all of its like interconnectedness and yes, like they of can, course yes they also have the ability to turn on and off the buses so like they can like they have more control so like nobody can put a bomb on there again yes. mm-hmm. um the bus starts up and starts driving with all of the extras and and like the 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 actor driver guy is like I don't know what's happening I don't know what's happening and we we hear over the intercom like someone who's like hacked into this bus of course it's just like so um uh I have a little challenge for the two of you um you guys have made such a such a big stink about all your adventures on the bus and it's all the news could talk about and it's all the news but the, but the man who was in charge of this like was trying was trying to make a statement that nobody heard because you guys spent all of your time on the news just talking about how you saved the day, and that's been the narrative the entire time. Oh. Well, I'm here to change that. You need to get this bus to Times Square in New York City by the end of this weekend because it's fr- it's Friday. It's they like have, Friday evening. Uh, it's Friday evening. I did the math. Yeah, it is a 45 hour drive. They have forty eight hours to do it. Oh my god! So you have so it is. It's not necessarily like it's not necessarily that. Um, and he's like, I, I understand that I couldn't put a bomb on this bus. They made it very very difficult to put bombs on this bus. But if you don't make it to these certain check marks by these certain time frames, I have placed explosives in these small towns, and I and I will and I will hurt people if you don't do it. Oh my god! Okay, okay, <laughs> but but it's like one of those things where like the bus driver's like, I don't like it's just going, and he's like, I don't know how to drive a bus, you guys. Yeah, I don't like, have I'm a license. Not, I'm like, an actor. I don't have a license. Yeah, I took yeah I took a cab here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so like you know like of course like Keanu like takes over the bus or Sandra one of the two. Um, she drove the first one, so yeah. I don't like in Speed Two. I hated her being a bad driver. It just bummed me. It felt. It felt like well, she's good at going fast, Jay. I understand. She's got to go just, fast. It just felt I don't know. I don't know. It she just go fast. It just felt like a romantic comedy move. You know what I mean? It just didn't feel. It didn't feel All like right. speed. I see just that. Make her good at driving. Who cares? I don't know. Um, so they they um, it becomes uh, uh, basically like this is because they're like they have media there and like the explosions of like sure. killed a lot of production people. Yeah, like yeah. This, this hit the news. Yeah. The unions are very angry. and But the thing is, is that um, not only has this person communicated to the people on the bus what they need to do, um, they've also communicated to like pretty much everyone in the media. Of course they like, put a, a press release out. Great. And it's like, and if they don't make it to New York, yeah. that like, I'm going to blow up something very, very important in New York. And they're like, well, if it's Times Square, like, pro- like it's like the, they're going to blow up like the, the New Year's Eve ball. Like, what are they going to blow up? Mm-hmm. Like, um, and so, uh, they get going, but the thing is, is that um, in that initial in that initial uh, sequence, uh, the, it's not necessarily common knowledge of what's happening or why it's happening. Sure. And so we get a police chase of this bus out of L.A. Out of L.A. Mm-hmm. And so the like we see a lot of news. There's a lot of this is going to be through like newscasters and stuff, and we're going to see like a lot of like, oh yeah yeah a lot of like th- that's going to be a large amount of the f- the framing of a lot of this stuff. Mm-hmm. And being like oh well like the, like these two people like clearly have gone rogue and like they they're painting them as the villains to begin with, and oh. then they're getting information as the people that like what the challenge is. Mm-hmm. And like what the expectations are, mm-hmm. and so it like kind of changes the national the 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 coverage as we go. Yeah, 
And so they've got all these extras on board who are freaking out and are looking to Keanu and, and Sandra the entire time. Like, what do we do? And he's like, it's going to be a very extraordinarily long drive. Like, we're going to have to refuel at these specific places. Um, and uh, basic, I like the idea that there's like a, a very, like, the, the buses have like a very archaic GPS and it's been booted up to them. Like, oh, sh- yeah. what, the, what the course is. Oh, yeah. I mean, and how they do it. The um, most archaic ways from the 90s. Yes. That, that definitely did like, not it's, exist. It's an but, old yeah. school screen. Like, you know, sure, can yeah. it be the green. Kind oh. of thing, but it's like this is where you'll stop. Mm-hmm. Like this is where you'll stop for gas. Um, so they get to the like the they get through like Nevada, um, and it's uh, so everyone's kind of everyone in America is kind of rooting for them, and it's kind of a spectator thing at this sure, point. Sure, of course, it's taking over because they're the just gym. like oh, like we don't want anyone to get hurt, but they're also kind of like starting to get a little bit like into into it. Um, and then once they they make their way to their first. Um, they're on their way to their uh, first stop. Um, the there is we cut to like a biker gang outside of this town. No, um, and, like they're, they're at their like kind sure. of base, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they get like a strange phone call from someone on the phone. No, oh. that's just like, hey, like they're gonna make it to your t- they're gonna make it to your uh, to your town in time. So I'm not gonna blow anything up there. But how would you guys like to make a little bit of money? Uh huh. And so he offers them like an absurd, obscene amount of money to try and stop this bus. Yeah. And so we get they, they they make their they they stop and like gas up the bus, right? But like the whole time they're like kind of like scoping out the town, and everyone there's a lot of people in the town that are like kind of rooting them on. You like, can you do, can it. do it. You like, can do it. Like, like we'll say like please like yeah. we don't, like like thank you for saving yeah. our town. Oh yeah yeah yeah. But then also they kind of clock like kind of like bikers and they mm-hmm. they're vroom vrooms and they're like um back on the bus back on the I like the idea of like the L A guy like being in the bathroom and be like oh my god <laughs> like <laughs> what, like, what, like and so they're like they gotta go, and so like they're taking out, um, they're taking out bikers at the bus, and like bikers are getting on the bus, like trying to fight Keanu, and like Keanu like fights a couple of guys and like kicks them off cool. the bus. But now he's got, but now they've got a couple of guns on the bus. Okay, that they get from the bikers. I see, I see, I see. Yes, 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 yes. And so, uh, uh, they 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 are going to make it to the next town, um, and th- they make it in time. Um, but one of the, uh, passengers has gotten sick, um, like, like visibly like sick. And so they like have car to sick or something like that. Like just like, yeah. You know. And they try to communicate, they're like doing their best to try to communicate to the town ahead of them. Um, and they're, they've also got, uh, helicopters and stuff like following the bus. Like there is news footage. So this is like, time. I was I just looking up. It's like the chase. Remember the Charlie Sheen movie? The yes. Chase? Similar. The similar. way they were covering it. Yeah. Yeah. And so like, they like put signs like on the top of the bus, like, like we have a sick passenger. Oh, like, can a oh doctor clever. Meet us in the yes, yes, yes. I love it. So like a, yes, do- yes, like, yes. like a doctor, um, uh, a, a doctor gets on board. Um, but as like the doctor's like getting on board and, uh, uh, finds like taking care of the sick person, and uh, takes care of them. And uh, the doctor goes up to Keanu and is just like, "I need you to know that I was offered five hundred thousand dollars to kill your passenger accidentally. Like there, like that biker thing that you guys went through. I saw that on the news. This is not just there. There's a, there's a lot more going on. There here. is like you need to know that like." there are going to be a lot of obstacles here and you need to be prepared for whatever's happening. So like they're taking shifts, like driving. Sure. Yeah. 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 And the doctor's like, I'm in this now too, I guess. So, cause I didn't fulfill my, yeah. I didn't yeah, take the money. T- yeah. yeah. He told me he would like pay me and let me get off at the next stop, but now I'm here. So, um, they get, uh, I, I imagine that they're, they're like kind of getting like halfway across the country at this point, mm-hmm. And they come to a town where, uh, and it we there was just the shot before was just like some guy in like some little booth and like you just see the phone ringing and then like the camera pans out to a bridge, like a um, bridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. And so like they're like they're like rolling through this town, um, and they're gassing up, but you can kind of see in the distance like the the the, the bridge, and um, it's the kind of thing where he has, they basically like have to like forego gas like a little bit to be like, we gotta go, we gotta go. Cause like the bridge is like slowly starting to bing, bing, bing. And they're like, ah, and then so the bus it's has not to, a speed move. You don't jump a bus over you something to jump the bus over the bridge. Um, 
And so uh, we're making uh, there. There's more obstacles and more here and there, but of course. We, like, we see like little ways that the terrorists are like trying to like get in their way and try to get them to stop it. Sure. Um, you give them obstacles, and you got You got to watch your characters figure out a way on that bus to yeah. overcome those obstacles. But we have like Keanu and Sandra and the Doctor, and then I think the L.A. bus like bus driver is like kind of comedic relief a little. I imagine Doug Jones. Oh, okay. And that's kind of a 97 pick. Yeah. You know? Um, I imagine them kind of like talking through like everything that's kind of happened up until this point. They're, sure. Like questioning the doctor like, what what, like, what about this phone call? What about this thing? Mm-hmm. And it, it's gotten to a point where like Sanders like, I mean, none of these things are really getting in the way completely of what we're trying to accomplish. It's kind of more making it entertaining than anything else. She's like, this is just like the bikers weren't really going to be able to do anything. Really? Um... Like somebody, you know, somebody got hurt. like some of us got hurt, but not really that badly. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it's just some of this is just not adding up. So they're making their way across the country. A couple more obstacles. Didn't write those. Don't care. But yeah, you, don't you get yeah. the vibe. Yeah. Um, th- those are more just like prove a point and kind of escalate the situation. Yeah. Um, uh, I like the idea of there of uh, maybe there being uh, one of a, a successful. Um, and the one thing that like kind of drives the point home is that like one of the towns like gets offered a ton of money to like put spike traps down, um, but like the spike traps go down, and then like it, it, there's like oh well there's just a tire shop around the corner, and they're like, hmm, then why did you do that's, that? That's that's too clever by half. Mm-hmm. Like that's too easy. This is too easy. Um, they eventually like. You know, it's 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 forty eight hours, so they are trucking. Uh, they make their way to the um, um, and New York City is in like a, a panic. Of course, New York City is like melting down. Um, and so uh, the bus gets to uh, New York City, and does it take the bridge or the tunnel? Tunnel. Ah, tunnel's more fun. Um, they take the they take uh, the Lincoln Tunnel. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's also been um. There's been a, like uh, uh, some gutter punks were reached out to. It's, it's, the, yeah, 90s, it's the 90s, 90s. Yeah, gutter punks. And they're like, hey, like you know, uh, if you could, uh, if you could figure out a way to like kind of get this, stop this bus. Sure, yeah. And I think they hit like the engine with like a Molotov or something. Oh, and like kind of the engine craps out. Oh, um, while in the in the tunnel, and we see the shots of everyone in New York. Um, like we see cut to people like watching it on the news and like a, a ton of New York, like the, the bus just stops in, and they, in the tunnel and they have like an hour left. Like they have, they don't have enough time. Like they're not going to make it. Mm-hmm. Um, and you see a bunch of New Yorkers like seeing their TVs, like go down and like go down the Lincoln tunnel. And like, there's just an army of people just like pushing this bus, like out of the Lincoln tunnel into, into Times Square. Well, if you mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. Um, yeah, great. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was. I'm, You're uh, mid story. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I mean that's but that's what I'm going for. Like yeah. New York, like you showing the strength of New York, and yes. like every New York, like rallying together to like get this bus to Times Square, so like nothing will go wrong. Right. And then they finally make it, and then uh, everyone's kind of off the bus, and like the the like news is going crazy. Um, and they were like, uh, and they're like Jack and Annie, like you are, you have, great, you've you've succeeded, congratulations. Um, like there's still, there's still one more bomb and it, on, the two of you are the only ones that are going to be able to solidify that. Like you're going to be able to like stop it, stop this. If anyone else comes, I'll just blow it. It has to be you two. Okay. Um, and so they like, uh, find this building like off of Midtown and, uh, that they, they get to, uh, like the top floor and like, there's a bomb there. And th- there's all this panicked, um, like trying to figure out like, like what wire to cut and blah blah blah. Sure. And Jack's like, I Bomb only stuff. know. Yeah. Um. And then Sandra is just like, Jack's kind of like frozen and he doesn't quite know what to do. And Sandra's like, Don't cut anything. Nothing's like, what are nothing's you added. About? Yeah, nothing's added up this whole time. Yeah, yeah, she's like, nothing. Just don't don't cut it. He's like, what are you talking about? Like, we're gonna explode. She's like, no, we won't. And the, and he's like, are you insane? And he, and uh, she's like, or just cut all of them. And she just cuts all of them. And it just keeps beeping, and then nothing, nothing happens. happens. 
and uh, you just see, um, <laughs> you just see uh, like like a guy come around the corner and it's just like, I had a feel I, I had a feeling you might be able to figure this out, um, and it's uh, one of the. It, from all of like the shots of all the news stuff, mm-hmm. I like the idea we had like a running backstory behind of like there was specifically like a head news like a head like uh, producer at like a news company like tr- being like cutting all the footage to this and blah blah blah, and he was just like, yeah, um, this has just all been like I don't think you understand just how much money the two of you in your initial situation with the bus made our network. He's like, I've made my entire, he's like, I've been my, I made my entire career off of covering your first bus escapade. And like, this is only going to just shoot it into the stratosphere. Um, and so it's all, it's always been about like the news. Everyone loves a car chase, yep. man. Everyone loves a car chase. And they're like, you just, they're like, you like, you stage all this. Like a lot of people got hurt. And he's like, I don't, did, did, anyone, they? did anyone really get hurt? He was like, I think we just made really, really good, good TV. television. Yeah. Oh boy. <clears throat> <clears throat> and uh, so, like, basically, like they're fighting the entire time, like uh, where he's explaining like everything. Um, but I think, like, one thing that like l- l- kind of like lands the situation is that like I think Sandra kind of knew that this was like the like the whole time. And so, like, she took one of the recording devices off of the bus with them. And so, like, it's been, like, all of the information that's being passed to, like, the news station, Mm -hmm. um, like, is basically being transmitted through her. And so, all of the stuff that was being covered about it, like, that also goes out. Yep. And so, like, basically delegitimizes him and, like, Mm -hmm. turns this whole thing into, like, one big... But even, it turns... But the way the movie ends is that it's another montage of them doing more news segments of them going on the news more about this whole thing about them going on the news. So they, no one really learns their lesson at the end of this movie. Jay, the news has 24 hours to fill every day with these 24 hour news networks. They need something. Yeah. So it maintains it's a speed movie and that they are still on a bus and they still got to go fast. Yep. Like, and they got to like hustle that. Mm hmm. But it turns out, but it's all about, I just, that, that's the one thing about like speed. And I think it's one thing that made the first movie so successful is that like, I mean, anytime I turn on the news and there's a car chase, I'm watching it. The whole thing. I'm going to, are you really? Oh yeah. You're not. No. Come on, man. It's good TV. But yeah. So that's, that is my speed too. Well, as you think, like Dennis Hopper had a point. Yes. He had a point. He, he was like angry for a reason. Yes. So like this and movie. I think they tried to do that with Willem Dafoe and it just didn't work. No, it didn't because they only kind of mentioned it in passing and didn't really harp on it enough. They also told us that he had a, de- a wildly debilitating disease and then didn't show us any of the consequences of it. Leeches, Jay. He just looks like a normal dude, like just Leeches. spookily eating cereal on the on the deck, just staring at people like a psycho. Yeah, he's just sitting there eating cereal. Mm-hmm. What a weirdo! That was a weirdo. But yeah, that's my speed too. An indictment of the twenty four hour news cycle. Kind of yeah. Yeah. An indictment of the media. Yeah. Um. Nicely done. Yeah. I think it worked. It's a, I mean, it's a it's a twist on the formula. Yeah, there's there's more ways to fill out the middle there. I think, but oh, like, sure, sure, sure. But like, I think it's more. I just wanted to be like, Sandy figures it out. Yes, and it's all because Jack's problem solving. He's trying to do de- because he's a cop. That's what he does, and he's also driving the bus the whole right. pretty much the whole time. Sandra can figure it out. Yeah, she's got the brain space to be like, wait, something's not adding up. Something's here. not right here. Like, because it took Jack forever to, to figure it out in the first movie. Because like driving a bus cross country is not that crazy. No, it's not. I mean, like Greyhound it's does kinda, it every day. Kind of boring, yeah. Yeah, and it was like you know, it's like we they could have made it about the race, but uh, you know, we need a little extra flavor, a little sure. extra spice. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job, bud. Thanks. That was good. I like that. Yeah, yeah. It's concise, to the point. Yeah. But okay. My fix. <laughs> now, in my fix, I want you guys to know, everyone at home, I 
came up with the initial idea for this fix before I watched Speed 2. <laughs> oh! Because okay. I remember what it was about. I, was okay. like, I, I remember how it didn't go along with this, the formula. My watch with Discord was the first watch. I have never seen it. I saw it way back in the day. I was like, this sucks. And it's the first time I've seen it in a very long time. But I remembered enough of it being like, it didn't follow the rules of the first movie. Yeah, no. A good sequel follows the same rules of the first movie, but heightens everything and with a twist. So my brain came up with this idea of following the same rules of the first movie and coming up with a bad guy uh, and his reasons for doing the whole thing before I watched the sequel, or rewatched it, only to come to realize, oops, it's the same reason why Willem Dafoe attacked the boat. Oh, come on. It really is. <laughs> okay. I swear to you, okay. I came up with this, because like, what what would be a good reason? Okay, well, there's a reason why it does Hopper well, attack the but like, it's mid-90s. What would be a good reason for somebody, you know what? What, he, what if he didn't, what, what if his, you'll see, you'll see, but it's like, it's like, it's a yes. <laughs> it's the same. Okay. I, I thought of this before we watched the movie. I'll let it slide. And then we watch. It's like ah crap. <laughs> but <laughs> but it's a it's a good it's a good because re- it's the mid nineties. Yeah, man. That reason for doing things there was a, there were a couple of movies where like the bad guy did things for that reason and being yeah. like oh no you really understand why someone would do that because like yeah we still ha- we still haven't solved that problem yet <laughs> breaking bad only works here because yeah. he couldn't get care so like if we ever had universal health care yeah breaking bad doesn't exist but so like there's a reason why these guys are making these decisions so okay please know i did not <laughs> i thought of it beforehand then thief, saw the movie thief. Okay, here we go. <laughs> My speed two. I don't have a. I don't have a, a cool. Maybe you can come up with like a cool like subtitle afterwards. I didn't come. All up right, with I'm good at those. Act one. I, you know what? We start the same way. I don't mind starting the same way, but it's Jack instead of Alex. But Andy's trying to get her driver's license, and oh, okay. she's not doing because she's good at going fast. Okay. And maybe she's not as bad as a driver as she is in this well, movie. Well, it's it, more so like her being bad at driving felt like it felt. With the, the speed too, it felt like just misogyny. Quite frankly, it didn't feel like there was any characterization to it, other than like oh. women are bad at driving. I don't know. It just felt it, for me. It didn't. There was no. I could. You know what? It I didn't see that. There wasn't enough specificity to it. Well, because in my head, watching the first scene, I was like, "Oh, this is just a vehicle for her to tell us what happened since the last." Movie. I would be more. I would believe more if she was afraid of being of driving because of the PTSD of having to drive that oh, bus. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So I, I, we just have like her being more of like an aggressive. She's not a bad driver. Yeah, she's just a, maybe a little aggressive and like likes to go fast. Hong Kong, beep beep, let's go. Yeah, exactly. But it's like it's the same basic stuff. But it's Jack instead of Alex, and he's on you know Keanu Reeves doing cool Keanu Reeves stuff yeah. on a bike, uh, arresting the guy who was in the ice cream truck. I don't know. Doesn't matter. It's the same basic scene, but just like hey hey, here's a catch up of what happened the past couple years. And they're still and they're still. Oh, it's together. been a couple years since. Well, remember the first one. Uh, the first movie came out in ninety four. Yeah. This movie came out in ninety seven. Sure. So it can be a couple years after. I'm not saying it can't. I just. I do. I'm saying that it's been a couple years. Great. So this movie takes place in ninety seven. I'm just. I'm just trying. Don't to you be, question me. I'm just. No. I'm Don't just question me. I'm just engaged. <laughs> I'm just. This is engaged listening. So that's you. I like to like. I interject and I talk, and people are like, "Why are you talking while I'm talking? Like well, you're interrupting me." I'm like, "No. Like I'm in. Like I'm engaged. I'm trying to help. <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you. I'm not questioning you. You're nope. projecting. <laughs> Don't be I've only started. No question yet. Cut up. <laughs> okay movie just starts the thing everyone they're still together everything's fine uh jack you know sandra bullock or annie let's just call it, annie uh, ends up at the same place the crime scene that they catch the guy sure same thing but like you know she can like skid to a halt and like whoa because all the cops know her at this point like, the swat yeah. team knows her like whoa okay how'd she do she's like she just barely failed she she's just like she's very aggressive in her driving. So one of the cops is like, that's LA, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so basically, like, you know, everyone's like, Jack and Annie are like, ah, what's up? we'll get him next time. It's all good. Ha, 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 ha. And like one of the SWAT guys says, well, maybe she should uh, get her pilot's license. Maybe that'll help. Everyone laughs. Like, ha, ha, God, no. Can you think of her flying? That would be just the absolute worst. Ha, 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 ha. Nudge, nudge. Wink, wink. Everyone has a good laugh at Annie's okay. expense. They go home. Okay. And like, 
wash off from the day. They, they, they live together now. Everything like, we see their relationship. Yes, everything's going well for them. Um, and they're as they're cleaning up and getting ready to go. You know, just relax after a hard day. Um, and her failing her test. Uh, we see them as there's a news report and saying like, hey, the new uh orbital space hotel is about to open for orbital space hotel. Yes. Okay. It's the mid '90s, Jay. Yeah, man. Things are going into space. Sure. So someone created a orbital space hotel. You know what their tagline is? What is it? Hotel in <laughs> space. <laughs> <laughs> so we're following Jack and Annie through the house. Marriott in space. <laughs> and we're not really. It's on. It's on in the background. They're just doing a news report on it. Right? No, no, no big deal. And sure. Everything's, everything's going fine. But we see that Jack has bought a ring. Okay. And all of a sudden, there's a knock at the door, and they go to answer it. And uh, standing there at the door is, is a billionaire tech mogul, Egon Ruck. Egon Ruck. Yes. I just took someone's last name who was in the cast of the first movie, and then realized that it's like, oh, it's kind of close to... Elon Musk? Yes. Okay. But I liked it anyway, so I'm keeping it. Anyways, so it turns out that Egon's aunt was on the bus from the first movie. Okay. And they saved her. Excellent. She wasn't the one that... It got crushed. Don't, dude. <laughs> no, she really just. She, yeah, she really. Uh, huh. She, so she survived. Okay. Hooray! And because of that, I'm about to open up my space hotel, and I thought it'd be a good publicity and reward you guys to be part of the small, uh, you know, group of people that get to be there for the inaugural stay. And so Annie's like, eh. Jack's like, I don't. Mm. I don't know about space. I don't know about space. But then Annie's like, you know what? That would be cool. Let's go. And the only reason Jack agrees to it is because he's like, well, I was going to propose. Why not propose in space? So <laughs> they decide to go to the space hotel. And then we go. So it's basically, you know, it's like SpaceX, but in the 90s. So we see like the, the background of Egon's uh-huh. uh, company, what, it, you know, what it takes to release sure. rockets, what, the, you know, yeah. the, all the background information as they get a tour, yeah, yeah, as they, yeah, yeah. they get launched into space here's the thing we meet a couple of the other people that are going to be there. there's one famous real person there from the mid 90s it's danica mckellar who was winnie from the wonder years okay she is there what a very danica specific mckellar yes choice mm-hmm. she's there okay so uh they get launched they go in a rocket Woo! They launch into space. They they dock with the the space station hotel, and we see all this stuff. There's a lot of beauty shots and all sorts of stuff. They get out of the hotel, and so there's a huge like, it's kind of like Babylon Fivey, okay. Where there's just you know like a, or a 2001 Space Odyssey. Like there's a, just a big yeah. We're using a, a big circle, a big, big circle. Yeah. Uh, and there's like levels in the, in the not a lot, but just a couple. And then like the basic command center is like kind of in the middle. With so there'll be some floating you know some floating uh, zero g stuff, but mostly. The people will be walking around in like the promenade. So there will be gravity. To there some will degree. be gravity. Okay. In some places. Um, so we see all this stuff. There's about 20 people on board. It's also called the Deadless. The Deadless? Mm hmm. Okay. The Deadless. Uh, um, Icarus's father. Brought to you by, by uh, Marriott? Yes. Sure. Okay. Uh, okay, so that was all Act One. Hooray! We we set up the thing. Everyone's happy. Jack's got the ring. It's like this is really weird, but we're in space. We're in space. <laughs> it's a days in in <laughs> space. The, the the days in days. All the continental <laughs> breakfast. You can see all of them. So everyone stays the first night. Everything's great. They wake up the next morning, and this is when our bad guy Brian, with an eye, decides to take over the ship. He's just. One of the guys who was part of the crew. Oh, and um, um, uh, Tamura Morrison is the captain. Okay. So we're keeping we're keeping Boba Fett. Yeah, why he's not? awesome. He's yeah, in the, he's still in the movie. He's Boba Fett. Uh, so one of the crew members, his name is Brian. He takes over the sh- he takes over the station. Now he's just there's no elaborate thing of unscrewing golf clubs and golf ball stuff. He's just part of the crew. He just takes over the ship. He's, he knows all. He just knows all the systems already. He can just do it. So, like an engineer kind of situation. Exactly. Okay. He as he's taking over the ship, as everything gets locked down, as everyone's eating breakfast and stuff, he monologues over the uh, over the PA systems. Like, hey, this is why I'm doing this. My father is the guy that basically engineered this whole station, 
and he's got stage three cancer right now. And because after this project was completed and Egon didn't need him anymore, he fired my father and we no longer have health care because of the contracts that Egon made everyone sign. So I'm doing this so my father can get health care because Egon is a cheapskate. And won't, you know, because we signed, you know, won't give us... I'm holding this station hostage. Yes. Only because I want my father to live and he deserves compensation for his work. Okay. And he is a billionaire. He can afford cancer treatments for my father. It's only fair. My dad, you know, built this damn thing for him. Yeah. This is ridiculous. And my father's going to go, then his work's going to go with him. Yep. Yeah. So I'm holding all you hostage. But here's the thing. He's awfully nice about this. Okay. He's not a mean... Uh, kidnapper. He no. he apologizes to Bubba Fett. Like he's like he's trying to be like you can see he's trying to be kind of tough and stern, but yeah. like you can tell like he's not really. Gotcha. But he did lock everybody in here, and if you don't tell, give me the money, I'm going to crash this thing into the atmosphere. Whoa! Because following the rules of Speed One. If you de- decrease the speed of the uh, orbital ho- hotel, it will degre- its orbit will decay and crash into the planet. If you speed it up, if you speed it up, it'll go. Oh, I it'll see, break I see, orbit. I see. If you slow it down, it crashes into the planet. It needs to maintain a certain speed to maintain its orbit. Hence the okay. rules of speed one. Okay. So, <laughs> Egon, everyone's like, so dude, just just give him the money. You're just paying for his debt. You're a billionaire. But this guy's like, that's, that's the principle of the thing. If I give him money, then yeah, everyone's going to... We, I don't, can't, negotiate we, we don't negotiate with terrorists. negotiate with terrorists. Do you know what would happen to my insurance? Exactly. I, I, I can't... Yeah. yeah. I'm, no, I'm not going to do that. This is ridiculous. No, no. Do what you want to do. No. No. So everyone's turning on the gun. So Brian's like, okay, well... Okay. He's got a little personal device, kind of like uh, Willem Dafoe did of like, boop, 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 here we go. Because he's, you know, somewhere else in the station. Yeah, I like the, he's like head engineer or whatever. Yeah. And so he knows all the nooks and crannies. Mm-hmm. of. So the he steers the station to the path of a satellite. It's like, you, see, you clearly don't think I'm serious about this. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. And the station just changes course to veer into the into the orbit of a satellite. So now we got our first like big obstacle of a, they're about to crash into each other. So Keanu... Tries to, with the help of the captain and the other, you know, the other crew members, because there's only, there's only like a handful of them, yeah. like try to navigate through the ship to find a way to like manually release some thrusters or whatever, but it doesn't work. So he's like, "Oh God, what do we do?" And then there's an old, um, there's an old uh, Next Generation episode where um, the Enterprise is about to crash into another ship coming out of a. Uh, it's a time loop episode where um, they're about to uh, crash into another ship coming out of a time anomaly. Is that one where they have to like try to avoid? They avoid the crash and they keep crashing and then they have to... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then it turns out that... I think I actually have seen that one. Date, they keep getting three. Scent pops up everywhere. The number three keeps popping up and eventually it's like, oh, wait a second. Riker's idea, because it's his pips, Riker's idea is the one that they should use. And they depressurize one of the shuttle bays and it's just enough of a force to push the Enterprise out of the way so the, na- the nacelles don't smack into each other and explode. So... They try that. One of the depressurized, one of the bays on the side or whatever. Just enough pressure to knock it out of the way of the satellite. It doesn't take much. It doesn't doesn't take much. There's still a little bit of an impact, but it's way less damage than it would have been. Unfortunately, it does damage enough systems where now the air is starting to leak out of it. And some of the engines were kind of hurt a little bit. Just like they are losing speed. And also the pilot got hurt in the collision because everything gets knocked around. Like, oh, no, there's a a little bit of gravity in the thing. Oh, no, they got hurt. Oh, no, the pilot's hurt. Our day's in. Oh, no. Ah! So uh, Boba Fett has to go outside, do a spacewalk. Oh, cool. Because, I mean, you're on a space station. There's got to be some type of tension out there, man. So he's got to hook in and try to manually get around the systems because Brian can, like, do all the automatic systems. But he, there's only so much he can do against manual stuff because yeah. it's all computerized. So he gets outside of the ship to like manually like fix the engines because now the orbit's starting to decay a little bit. So they have to speed up to make sure they maintain orbit. So uh, Jack tries to find Brian, and they eventually kind of get into the um, his tension. They finally get into like the bridge area. It's a little bit of zero Gs. He lets uh, Jack lets in uh, Egon, Annie, and Danica all make it into the bridge because everyone's trying to stick together. 
Again, the pilot's hurt. So they all make it to the thing. And just as like the tension's like, oh, you're going to, you know, we need to make sure that the engines get enough power. And the pilot's hurt. And like, and like takes the wheel because she likes to go fast. Um, and the, the captain is outside of spacewalking. Annie takes the stick to fly. And Danica helps her as co-pilot because, and this is in real life, Danica McKellar is, uh, got her degree in mathematician or uh, mathematics. She is extremely intelligent and very good at math. Okay. So she can actually come up with a formula because it's flying in space. It's a lot of math. Yeah. So like Annie's got some intuitive skills of fl- driving I going about fast. Her, but yeah, that's actually really clever. So Danica can help her with the math. Yeah. So she's co-piloting, being like okay. just knowing stuff. So Jack talks Brian down. Oh, all right. Because Brian, he because Jack's good at this. At this point, well, man. Wow. <laughs> How about you stop doing that? Radical. So he talks Brian down because Brian clearly is not a bad person. No. He's just been put into a tough position. Yes, and with a few options. Yeah. And he took this opportunity and Egon's an asshole. So, like, I see. So Brian gets talked down and puts the MacGuffin down and everything seems to be working out okay. And the captain's, you know, reeling himself back in. But as that's happening, no one realizes that Egon grabs the MacGuffin. And goes, well, this is really unfortunate, but this is a PR nightmare. So, unfortunately, y'all got to go. Because if we all get back and this story leaks, I don't want to deal with it. I can't tell people this place is unsafe. So, like, I'm going to be the only sole survivor of this and I'll spin the story the way I want. So, everyone's like, what? So That's crazy. Okay. But something an insane billionaire would do. Yeah. So, now, Act 3 is basically all... Jack trying to chase down Egon through the ship. Through the ship. In C- yeah, and zero G. That's good. Some in zero G. Some right. in gravity. But they eventually they get to the spinning part where the 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 uh, the, the shuttle is docked, and um, they realize because Andy's still trying to pilot the ship. They realize that, uh, or they find out that Egon is is an insane billionaire, and so he has taken martial arts because what else is an insane billionaire going to do with this time? Why not? Because why not? So he can fight. So it's not like there's a pushover. Not like Jack can just show up and punch him. Like yeah. It's going to be a fight. So they realize... He can hold him up and get him decapitated by a train, probably, though. If you want possibly. To. Yeah, yeah, possibly. Yeah. But what we do do is that they realize, Had oh, been. one of the reasons that this is the fight's kind of even is doing the spinny part. What if we just turn the spinny part off? So they turn the spinny part off, and so the fight kind of goes from... We have a little sometimes gravity, sometimes not gravity fight scene... For you know, huh. towards the end of like, oh, the, and there's, I'm sure there's some very clever things we could do with our people fighting in yeah. with gravity and then without gravity because he's not, really, but you know, maneuvering around and then he can, Jack can be communicating uh, to Annie or the people in the in the uh, the bridge like turn it back on it like a pro, you know, I'm sure there could be a very cool fight scene there. So eventually, uh, Jack of course wins. Sorry, I'm just like getting law. I'm like thinking, really thinking about like how, yeah. Like and to the point where Jack almost starts like anticipating losing the gra- losing gravity, and so he positions himself that like if gravity kicks back in, like he can. Sorry, I just got like really lost in that. That's really fun. I think that could be a really fun fight. How scene. the hell do you shoot that though? Holy Gim- mother a, of a mercy! Gimbal. I get a gimbal. Big old gimbal. Big old gimbal. Uh, so eventually, of course, Jack wins, and then everyone like shuffles their way through back through the station or whatever. And like since Annie is not piloting anymore. They're like, oh, we have to get from point A to point B in enough time to before get to the shuttle the before atmosphere. we crash into the atmosphere. So, like, yeah. there's a little bit of a time rush there. And then everyone gets into the shuttle. They kick Egon out. So he's trapped on the space station as it, you know, explodes in the atmosphere. And the rest, everyone else is sur- sur- uh, safe in the shuttle. But then we get to the whole, and he's got to land this shuttle safely. So... And with because one, uh, yeah, because it be, there's a reason Keanu can't do it. Like maybe he's like hurt his hands in. He's not a pilot, man. I guess so. And, and Annie and, though. Well, she's she's got some aptitude for it, and Danica's right there once again helping her with all the math yeah. involved with glide angles and pitch vectors and stuff like that. She's very smart. If you thought Winnie, extreme, uh, if you thought Winnie was hot before, now she knows math real good. Guys. Danica's extremely intelligent. Yeah. Like, she's, like, a, a big advocate for the STEM program for, for women. Yeah. Because, like, she's... I, like, I went, like, oh, wait, is that mean? 
somebody like who's good at oh wait a second wait a second yeah absolutely oh my god and it works out because it, if this was in the time if we were shooting this in the mid 90s she was in college at the time yeah so like she was getting her degree mm-hmm. like it actually works out IRL that she like would, she would be going up like as a promotion for like women in STEM yes. kind of thing yeah yeah and then she could actually utilize the, her real life experience in the thing and like and the she's movie also version. a well known fan of Days In she loves she it. loves the Days In yeah, big man. fan of Days In it's hard to be mad at a Days In you know so Annie crash lands the the, the shuttle every but and everyone survives and it's big everyone's happy and I was like Hell boy yeah. that was that was crazy well it turned out you know what you're also not great at flying but we walked away so it's all it all worked out jeezy crazy that's okay i am sure you can come up with a couple more problems on the space yeah, station spinning yeah we, you know. there's always more you can fill in that second act but uh, yeah, but we had to maintain a speed or else we yeah. either ah, or yeah. yeah that's really good yeah it's really good okay Okay, that's not. Oh, and the, uh, the, I really did not expect you to go that direction. And uh, since everyone works together to be like, yeah, this is what happened. That man was insane, but like, he said certain things that like, and of course, Brian's father gets the health care that he needs, yeah. and he gets the treatment, and he turns out to be okay. Because everyone lies about Egon, and so it told. So everyone like six of the story, so that this guy is ruined, and everyone uh, gets what they need from the the company. Yeah, so it's a happy ending. Speed to space time. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And the tagline being like, in space, no one can hear you speed. <laughs> it just wants to speed. It's the speed limit in space is whatever the orbital speed is in space. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. No, there's speed to space time. There's no, there's no speed limit in space. Drop it into fifth, baby. Clack, clack. Warp speed? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Space Station yeah. in space. I think both of our fixes are better movies than friggin' Cruise Control. Well, because our things needed to maintain constant speed to do a thing. Yes. This boat heist didn't need... He could have just stolen the diamonds and left. He could have just left. Yeah. He, yeah. Left. he was like, I need Dan as a hostage. I'm like, no, you really do don't. You? No. I was like, I think you're going to get away with this, homie. He was. He could have yeah. just, just gone. He could have just left. He could have just left. And not told anyone his plan. Nope. Just bailed. Yep. Like, Got in the ski do and deuces. What's up? Yep. Ski do away to freedom. For real. Oh boy. That said, Speed Two sucks. <laughs> John Wick Four is gonna be awesome. Yes, yes, it is. I haven't seen a single John Wick movie. I know. I need a remedy. You got to remedy that. I know they're Post-haste. awesome. I know they're awesome. They're really That's good. all I know. Whew. Well, we did it, bud. We did it. We did it. Um, I, this ended up being a great episode. I wasn't sure about this one. Oh, really? Well, you know, Speed Two. Speed Two. Okay, <laughs> let's let's be let's be honest. Of all the movies we've done so far in the thirty-four ish episodes we've done, this is one of the weaker movies yes. that we have fixed. Uh, this is this is like actually one that like is actually a stinker. This is real. This is a very bad like movie. It does not have a lot of like actual redeeming qualities to it not really a couple of good water stunts but apparently people almost died during them so maybe it wasn't that great but good fixes yeah i really like the cross-country race and the indictment of the media i'm gonna be honest with you do you know where uh do you know where um, i got started with it where where my brain is sometimes like this one i had a really hard time thinking about sure and so my brain just starts to be like, well, let's, okay, maybe we'll be the joke one this time. Maybe we'll do a joke one. Mm-hmm. And then I start, I was like, yeah, let's just like, like, let's just, let's just mash together speed and cannonball run. <laughs> cannonball run. That's what it was. And I was like, oh, well, like maybe there's like a bunch of buses doing it. I'm like, no, let's just make it one bus. And then like, we can figure out a way to make it a commentary on like bus war <laughs> car chases yeah. and like what that, like what the, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Good well, job, bud. Oh, thank you. I pre- good job to you, too. Thank you. In space! In space! Congratulations, in space! <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you so much for listening. Um, if you are watching this on YouTube, you guys know what to do. If you wouldn't mind liking, subscribing, hitting that bell, and doing that YouTube that you do so well. And if you're catching this wherever you catch your audio podcasts, if you wouldn't mind leaving us a quick little review, maybe leaving us five stars if you feel so inclined. It actually makes a huge difference uh, for the algorithm of the show, but mm-hmm. also it makes me happy. I read them and they warm my heart. Uh, and they, they actually really do help, so that would be awesome. Uh, also, um, join the Discord to come to a watch-along. Uh, 
it's uh, discord.gg slash uh, previewed. It's the best community on the internet. Definitely check it out. Um, but yeah, I think that's our episode for today. And as we end every episode, heartbreak feels good in a place like this. It is the really fast little dangly bit from the subway tunnel that you truly don't see coming. It's just a... Uh, your head right off. Dennis got Dennis got his head hopped right off. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Because here's the thing: if you're Keanu in the in the position that he was in, where he decapitated Dennis Hopper, there is no way you are. Wait, not... they were like they were like lying, like right. Yeah, there. he like pushes, pushes him up, up and then. There okay. is no way, what, however Keanu appears at the end of that movie, oh, that he's not. should be drenched. There, there would be a fountain of blood. Because he still had the body. The body didn't go away, right? Oh, yeah. It, it, he, the body was still there. If he's holding that body, he is bathed in it.